Okay, Super <laughs> Chat from David Carpenter. It seems eating that quantity of food is dangerous. Have you injured yourself or know someone who has hurt themselves competing? Um, you, you hear stories of um, people injuring themselves, you know, maybe push themselves a little too hard. They might have pulled a, you know, a, a muscle or, or something in their, um, you know, torso. Um, so, yes, it is possible. Uh, I haven't personally found anything that I've done to myself to injure myself. Um, and unfortunately for amateurs, you do hear of uh, amateur here and there through the news or whatever that chokes and passes away. So it is, it is a dangerous um, undertaking. It's a dangerous sport because you can choke. Um, unfortunately, that does happen and it has happened. And, um, but as a professional, you know, I know the international sign that I'm choking. I know to be able to calm down. Um, unfortunately, in 2019, I choked on some riblets up in um, Minnesota at a rib eating contest. And it slowed you me down. You choked on riblets? What did you yes. do? Um, well, I just I just took a minute and cleared my throat. You know, I, sw I had to swallow them whole or you got to get them out. Like you got to, you got to, you know, take a minute. And even with the hot dogs and buns and cake and, you know, all that stuff, you overstuff your mouth. It's very dangerous. Um, and in, in my contract, it says I'm supposed to have EMT on site. So when I'm speed eating, I, I have EMT on standby for us to, you know, make sure we're all safe and there's no issues. And every competition I do with Major League Eating, we have EMTs on site or appearances. We have a crew there. So, um, you know, hopefully nobody chokes or we could get cleared if there is any issues. Uh, Laurel Marie, uh, she had an issue, I think, at Pork Roll one year. She needed, um, you know, the Heimlich uh, performed on her because she was choking. She had to walk off stage and do that. But you know, we're professionals. We do train for this. It's mental capacity also. So, you know, there's X amount of time that you could be choking. And then it's like, okay, I can't clear it. I need help. I, I know that I need to walk <laughs> off stage and, and receive help. So great have question, you, Dave. Wow. Have you ever, so you've, have you ever been choking yourself and then been, been able to like clear it on your own? It almost sounds like you were able to like deal with it by yourself. Yes. I, I I'm not going to lie. Pre almost every time we, I eat, fast i choke on something i I've, I've had hot dogs in my nasal cavity i've had french fries come out my nose pasta come out a my whole nose. french fry come out your nose yeah yeah it's it's happened you know so you know there's a Curly lot of food getting regular? pushed in <laughs> it's probably like a regular french fry not unfortunately they don't give up too many curly fries in uh competition because that's never they're fancy. uh you know they're, yeah. yeah they're fancy they cost more money the seasoning would be awesome I'm a huge fan of uh, curly fries, but um, yeah, it, it happens unfortunately, but you just overstuff the mouth and you have to calm down and you have to work through that. So. So don't be such a pussy, everybody. If you're choking, you know, it's possible you could just sort of get through it. Just calm down, 